Hey everyone, like uh, you already heard, uh, my name is Charlotte and I'm a developer and a co-founder at Snipcart. And today I'm going to talk to you about how we use Vue to create the next version of our cart. So you might wonder what is Snipcart. Snipcart is an e-commerce uh, solution for developers. Basically, it allows you to add a shopping cart to a website or any web applications in minutes. And about a year ago, we started to use Vue in uh, production. So we started to play with Vue about a couple of months ago, mostly because we, we write a lot of content uh, on our blog, and uh, we wrote some articles about uh, Vue itself, and some more articles about cool libraries like uh, Nux that uh, you maybe saw earlier today, and uh, ViewPress. And uh, the whole team really felt in love with the framework, and uh, also the fact that it can be really easily integrated into any code base uh, was really a, a huge one for us. So what are we doing with Vue? Uh, at the moment, we already have some uh, code in production, mostly in our dashboard, which is uh, an application written in uh, Backbone and CoffeeScript. Uh, I know we already got uh, some talks about it uh, during the conference, but we started to refactor our, our dashboard with new components uh, that are all written in Vue. And most importantly, we are working on uh, the rewrite of our new cart. So we decided to rewrite the card because uh, it's been a while that it's out there and we need to improve the UX and the design. And, uh, but the, the main focus was to really improve the, the way that our users can customize it. At the moment, it's already possible for users to customize the cart, but most of the changes are made through uh, by overriding our CSS tie sheet. And uh, when it comes to editing the DOM itself or the cart markup, it, it can be a bit tricky. Like you can see on the example I have on the slide, if you want to add like a simple image to the header of the cart, you have to do some JavaScript manipulation and it's not very, it feels a bit hacky and we don't really like it. So the next version will allow our users to basically override any template in the cart. So they will have full control on the, the markup itself. So it will really push it forward. And uh, we hope that we will see our, our users create like kick-ass integrations. So to come up with a, a clean solution, we uh, decided to implement a custom render function. So those of you who were at the talk uh, from even uh, yesterday probably won't really learn anything from this because he did an amazing job. But uh, I'm going to talk about it a, a bit anyway. The render function uh, allows you to generate uh, your component. In the, it, it generates a virtual DOM node based on the template or, or something like that. So we implemented a render method that uh, basically uh, will return the, a new template in the cart. So Vue exposes an, an API that allows us to use the, the compiler to generate the render function that will generate the, 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 the the virtual DOM node. So uh, in, when you are using the full version of Vue, you have uh, access to a compile method on the Vue object itself. So this is not usually in production because most of the time when you work on the medium or large scale application, you're gonna use a tool like a Webpack or something like that and your templates will be pre-compiled by it. But uh, in our case, we decide to keep the compiler in our production code because uh, it's, it's very useful for, for our use case. And uh, it, it does not add that, sh that much uh, of uh, overhead to the size of our libraries, our libraries since the, the compiler weights about uh, 10, uh, 10 kilobytes. So, oh, I forgot to change my slide, sorry. So the, the, with the help of the render function and the view compiler, we came up with a, a neat solution. And customizing the cart will be much more uh, powerful. And it will be done through uh, what we call uh, transformations. So the first transformation that we have uh, is prepen. And uh, I tried to streamline the code that we wrote to make it possible as much as possible. And uh, as you can see uh, on the, the, the code snippet here, we are using the, the compiler to 
basically generate our render function from the template that our customer has, uh, has specified into the DOM. So we retrieve the node from the DOM, then parse, and then use the inner HTML property and pass it through the compiler so we get the uh, render function. And then we basically only uh, extend our base component and uh, play with the, the render function a bit so both components will be rendered. So the second uh, transformation that we support is append, uh, which is basically the same thing, so uh, I'm gonna go uh, quickly over it. And the last one is replace, so it will allow our users to completely replace the content of the, the component. So on top of that, we decided to uh, use what we, we, we call internally the micro components, uh, because our customers can uh, customize uh, every component in the card, but we don't want them to need to learn like the underlying mechanisms of how we work under the hood. So instead of uh, exposing uh, like uh, the, the view directives or things like that directly, we created a bunch of really dummy components that don't do much work, but uh, essentially encapsulate the UI logic uh, under them. And uh, that's it for the, the customization part, but we also did something uh, quite cool. We uh, integrated Vue and Redux together, which is quite uh, unusual, but uh, in our case, it was uh, well worth it, and it, we had a, a good reason to do that. So if you want to learn more about it, uh, you can go to our blog. We released a, a post about that uh, yesterday. So uh, if you're interested, just uh, check out our blog. So uh, thank you very much for listening to me, and uh, if you have any questions, we have a booth. Uh, outside of the room and uh, just uh, let us know. So uh, we've got some t-shirts left and uh, lots of stickers. Thank you very much.